what's up guys it's daniel here and in today's tutorial i will show you how to do this wall effect <laughs> seriously i don't know the name <laughs> but without further philandrin let's get this done first thing you want to do is open up this art and boom click on the plus button here now you want to select the background you want to use which i'll leave a link in the description you might want to use it too you want to go to draw now you want to click on this layer button make sure you create an empty layer make sure you click on it change the blend mode to xor you can delete this one it is not useful then click on this empty layer here now you want to go on and add your brush you can get your brush on google by searching for brush.png press ok now you want to enlarge it so it will make the picture look more ok so the next thing we want to do is go to layer again match this together now create another empty layer make sure this is like this this goes up and this goes down okay now you want to open the picture you want to use as the background okay you want to click on ok now we are pretty done that we're done with that now you want to add photo for the standing picture okay i'm using this one now you want to go to cut out select outline and you want to zoom this in you know what i'll join you guys later let me quickly go ahead and erase the background and while i'm at this make sure you enjoy the music Now I'm done with clearing of the background, now we want to resize this. So something like this is okay for me, but we need to adjust the lightning so they can match. And in order to do that, once you click on this picture here, go to adjust. So go to highlight and just reduce this a little bit, something like this. Okay, now go to contrast and also the same thing. Reduce it and at least it is looking better now. And finally, we want to go to brightness. You can also reduce this. In my case, I'll reduce it a little bit. Going down, we make the picture too dark and going up make it too light so i'm okay with something like this go on and save it now let's make it more realistic by adding the shadow to do that go to tools here now look for adjust now you want to reduce the brightness by going down like this let's say 50 okay now we want to click on this eraser button and you want to invert this after inverting it click on this brush tool here and you can change the settings okay something like this and what you want to do is draw a shadow
notice that i drew the shadow using the dimension of the body so this varies from picture to picture just look for the dimension that suits you and go ahead and draw so once you're through with that tick ok here and tick ok again so the last thing we want to do here is crop this into a 4 to 5 ratio because that is the most suitable resolution for any Instagram picture. Click on portrait here and you want to just crop this out a little bit. So something like this. After that, this one I want to do is quite optional. It is called the Dodger effect. You can choose to use it. Let's see the difference is going to give the picture. You be the judge. And here it is. As you can see, if I drag it down. So let's say 53 is good. Save it. And now we are done that is how to do this wall brush brush wall wall in the brush brush in the wall effect using pix art i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button and if you enjoy what i do you can go on and subscribe to my channel i would so much appreciate that and i'll be grateful so till next time i come your way peace out people